Hi, good evening, everyone. Uh, today we are here for the demo of SnapLogic planning provided by MindMagix. Coming to today's demo, we'll be covering what is SnapLogic, SnapLogic architecture, and walking through of the environments, and then course outline. So coming to SnapLogic, uh, there are a lot of other ETL tools in the market. Uh, uh, one of them is SnapLogic. Uh, which is really booming right away right now in the industry uh, because of this uh, easy to use and uh, very fast uh, cloud environments we have. It is a iPaaS tool, uh, so integration platform as a service. So the platform will be provided to us as an integration. So we don't have to uh, worry about the patches, upgradations, anything. SnapLogic will take care of that. Coming to the SnapLogic architecture, it consists of SnapLogic environment uh, that that is a tool we they will be providing us and also the server run will be on the cloudplex and groundplex so i uh, will come we'll talk about groundplex and groundplex in detail later but uh, the main agenda of this tool is for cloud integrations so basically uh, we'll will uh, get data from the ground sources that is a uh, Ground servers, uh, SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL, SAP, Hadoop, and all those things, and we'll be moving data into uh, into the cloud uh, integrations. So basically, uh, we'll have we'll have incremental loads and batch streaming, right? So that's what we'll be doing with the SnapLogic pipelines. Uh, we'll also have a central monitor managing uh, facility that provides us a uh, live uh, pipeline execution statuses and all the details of the current executions and coming to the components of snap logic uh, will be providing they'll be providing as a tool uh, that is a designer dashboard and manager so in the designer we'll be building pipelines that will help us uh, to connect to the ground sources and also to the cloud sources the ground ground sources uh, we have got through this here right so these are all the ground sources and on premise data basically this is and uh, cloud sources you'll have uh, snowflake azure google cloud service now all these are cloud sources yeah so basically we'll build pipelines in the designer and the dashboard will give us a uh, health of the pipelines and uh, current uh, pipeline statistics on the history of the executions and you'll also have another pain call uh, manager uh, that that uh, it, it consists of a uh, ad administration uh, accesses so basically you'll create the uh, roles there uh, give access to the roles uh, create accounts to connect to the sources and uh, destination environments so you will have uh, snaplex so this is uh, three, three we'll have three snaplexes basically one is cloudplex groundplex and uh, the, the other is hybridplex so the groundplex will be connecting to on premise sources cloudplex will be connecting to cloud sources basically we'll also have a uh, hybridplex that is that consists of both cloud and ground sources and this there is another component called snaps these are the, uh, just a pre-built connectors so that we can connect to uh, most of the uh, major uh, sources that we have uh, today's in the today's market. Coming to that's about the architecture, that's about the components, SnapLex, Snaps, and pipelines. So about uh, nodes, SnapLex is a SnapLex is another server that is built up of nodes. This is a this is just a computation environment for SnapLogic. Uh, so we'll just have the designer and dash uh, designer pin to us, but the overall computation happens in another computer uh, remote machines that is called SnapLex. So but this SnapLex is uh, based upon these nodes. We can configure this uh, SnapLex uh, through our admin credentials. Based on the requirement, uh, we'll do that. Uh, we'll have designer toolbar. Uh, basically, we'll have all the snaps here. Uh, if you want to read from that read from some particular source transform the data parse the data uh, you want to make uh, loads into some other uh, 
destination environments, uh, cloud environments, and uh, you want to uh, do some transformations on the flow. Uh, basically, you will we'll do a lot of operations uh, based on the requirement, right? So that we'll be doing in the designer pin. Uh, we'll covering all these things in the course. You have manager, uh, manager pin. There you have account statistics, task management. We'll uh, create tasks so that you can uh, execute the pipelines over a schedule, or you can trigger the pipelines uh, from any other REST API. Right. That's about this, and we also have uh, error handling. Basically, uh, inbuilt error handling SnapLogic provides. You can use the same when whenever a pipeline fails, uh, you'll get uh, you can uh, the pipeline error handling uh, pipeline can be triggered so that uh, you can do whatever you want from that pipeline. Basically, we can you can uh, create a notification and uh, let me know whenever the pipeline fails. Right, that's what we can do with this error handling, and then. Uh, we'll also go through uh, SnapLogic uh, hands-on ex using expression languages. Basically, we'll be doing a different type of transformations that is that we can do in general for the uh, hands-on uh, labs. Uh, that is the course outline, basically. And we'll work with uh, frequently user snaps, uh, mapper generally is a frequently user snap. We'll use router, filter, execute pipeline, and all these will let, uh, you'll get to know when you work around with the tool. Uh, we'll also covering SnapLogic best practices so that your pipelines don't fail often, and uh, you'll all, you'll put lesser load on the server. And we'll we'll work around with parameters how to uh, create reusable components. We'll basically work around that. Uh, that's the core agenda of our training. So so that uh, you can you can you'll create optimized pipelines. Additionally, apart from this, uh, you'll get error handling best practices. Uh, expression language code snippets that you can uh, reuse in, in, in any other pipelines uh, that you can build in future and uh, we'll also get you give you some tips to troubleshoot pipelines in motion uh, so that you can uh, understand the dashboard pain easily uh, whenever there is an error you can monitor that dashboard we'll, we'll be working with two projects basically and we'll, we'll have a uh, hands-on on different uh, uh, pipelines but the main uh, our main agenda is to achieve these projects. We'll build these uh, use cases definitely. So we'll be taking Snowflake as a destination environment and SQL Server. We'll get data from SQL Server and we'll be building some automation pipelines that will uh, bring us data from Snow SQL Server to Snowflake. And in doing so, we'll capture all the logs that uh, how the when the pipeline is started and we are uh, doing the load is it a full load or is it a partial load or the incremental load based on uh, date column or something like that and this project uh, will also cover uh, error handling uh, when there's an error in the pipeline how to log that error how to capture that and we also set up a mechanism to track the error so that will help us in real-time projects uh, this project is definitely going to help you uh, in easy work around with that and then we'll have bucket loading pipelines will build so when you have large volumes of data you'll put a lot of load on the server that causes uh, issues and the pipe the ground ground clicks might be down so in order to eradicate that we can uh, we'll build uh, bucket loading pipelines that will break the data into uh, pieces and then load load in small volumes so even for this uh, we'll we're going to introduce uh, error handling and then we create logs for when the pipeline fails so basically you don't need anything uh, just you just need a laptop and stable internet connection uh, we'll, we can create snap logic trial accounts and we also need snowflake trial accounts to do this uh, project uh, so also in order to keep this uh, training very interesting we also we're also not doing a whole practical or whole lab labs so we'll be having theory and practical in parallel so we'll not be covering whole theory sessions or whole lab sections that way you can learn and apply uh, every day to the course that is about the tool uh, basically we'll go through with uh, different uh, type of uh, keys and um, 
three terms and concepts. So these snaps are basically uh, uh, you will have a lot of us uh, snap packs and snap types. So these are the snap types. So basically you have read snaps, parser snap, transform snaps, flow, format and write. So when you read a data from a file, you will get it as a binary data. So the, for you cannot uh, transform a binary data. You cannot uh, do that in the snap project. So that that reason we have parse snaps. So what they'll do is uh, they'll convert uh, binary documents to binary format data to document format data. So that they, we can transform them easily. And then uh, we'll go to the transform. Uh, we'll do any operations. We'll uh, write the data into the uh, any destination environments that can be uh, for our case, it will be Snowflake Cloud. That is about uh, snaps. Uh, we go, we went through Snaplexes. Snaplex is a, another Linux or Windows-based server that is residing on the cloud uh, that helps us for the computation and data storage purpose. So whenever you want to conf reconfigure this, you'll have to change the change the configurations in the remote server. And as a functional overview, SnapLogic, uh, we have snaps and pipelines. We can group the pipelines so that uh, we can uh, group them for different projects. And this way we can switch between GroundPlex and CloudPlex. And this is uh, this we can use to execute the pipeline. And when you execute the pipeline, you can see the dashboard uh, statistics from here. And this is to save. This is to validate the pipeline. So by validation, you can uh, you can process 50 records, first 50 records, so that uh, it will be helpful for us to test uh, when not, when you want a uh, pipeline uh, when you're in the uh, building phase, right? So you every time you don't want to run the pipeline, you can just validate and uh, execute so that uh, you can see the output uh, right away in the dash in the designer. And you can. Uh, from the designer itself you can create uh, tasks so that uh, they'll be executing on a schedule interval but we also have uh, two other types of tasks that is uh, ultra tasks and the other is schedule task and trigger task so with trigger task you can uh, generate a url and uh, wherever you want to call the pipeline you can just do a, a rest call for the pipeline uh, the, to the url so that the pipeline will be called that is the help of a trigger task. And the other task is ultra task. Uh, that is basically used for uh, streaming data purposes and the trial version doesn't support that. So we'll not be covering that ultra tasks in the demo session, in, in the training sessions, right? So yeah, basically we also have a uh, IRIS A auto suggested, auto suggestions in the snap logic designer environment so whenever you are building pipelines right so uh, you'll get suggestions of the, uh, of the of the downstream snap that you can you can use that way you can it, uh, you don't have to uh, research a lot so that uh, iris suggestion you can use and you can go with that flow so on a daily basis we also be giving some tasks and I review that so that way we'll, we can give some scope for the self-learning that is also there for you can always refer to the SnapLogic documentation and SnapLogic community for any doubts you have. This is a certification that is provided by SnapLogic currently for the developer integrator, developer slash integrator. So this is currently free of cost. And if you want to do, you can do it right away after completing this course. Of course, you'll have to go through the documentation for that. After completing course, we conduct mock, mock interviews uh, to the participants who want to give evaluate themselves uh, before applying for the job. Uh, you'll also get a uh, course completion certificate from mind magics so we'll be having a lot of snaps to cover uh, so we will have snaps in two categories of uh, core snaps and premium snaps so based on your uh, licensing you'll have uh, you'll have access to the premium snaps and all core snaps will be provided to you by default uh, this is a trial version right so you'll have a limited snaps access to limited snaps and when you have a uh, uh, enterprise version you'll have access to premium snaps right so uh, you can connect to different uh, sources 
through the snapbacks and they have uh, they have been they are grouped by with uh, source types so Adobe snap you have azure sql you have uh, cassandra you have google big query you have mysql linkedin jira mongodb redshift sap hana that way you can connect to a lot of other uh, environments these are uh, the pre-built connectors so basically we'll be working with uh, sql server and snowflake in the training sessions uh, so sql server you'll have uh, execute insert lookup merge select stored procedure tables list update and bulk load snaps so this uh, bulk load snaps what what it does is uh, it'll take a, a it'll read data from particular source and just directly bulk load or copy if in general terms we'll uh, we'll call it as copy into data so just as a copy into in the back end so that uh, all the data is uh, inserted into this destination environment at once uh, instead of this insert which inserts records one by one the bulk load snap does it all at once that's the difference between bulk load and uh, insert and you have sql delete execute uh, you can uh, write expression uh, execute uh, uh, sql queries and also use expressions uh, so that you can build dynamic queries uh, based on the variables that uh, you want that's the advantage with snap logic uh, expression user expressions so you can execute stored procedure and uh, uh, read the data from stored uh, output of stored procedure and also you can just execute a stored procedure and move on to the downstream and you you also have a manager pin here you can you have access to snap packs uh, that that uh, your uh, your version of uh, licensing has access to and you can schedule you have access to schedule tasks you can uh, delete them or create the new task so you have asset search you have activity log alerts and snap statistics and then you have uh, access to health pipeline task and snaplex from the dashboard in health you can see uh, this is a ground plex and this is a cloud plex uh, we have two nodes and both of them are active and one goes down you will get to know it here you can monitor the health of the pipeline or snaplexes and then you will have the health of pipeline here so when a pipeline is running currently you can see it here the executing pipelines of my executions and uh, you can always you can also see the executions in your environment uh, not only uh, by you but also by other users by changing this uh, a drop down here and uh, you can uh, see all type of invocations here that may be triggered ultra task or scheduled task or it can be manual executed pipeline so uh, here you can see the history of the pipeline that you're executing and you can also see the data flow uh, where the pipeline is current uh, which snap currently it is executing and also the time taken for each snap so that you can optimize the pipelines uh, whenever you want touch with the snap and the history of the dashboard and thank you everyone for attending the demo